evening. Hi, how are you? Honey, I'm better now. How are you? I'm good. That's good to hear. So what is this show about? Get your life together, honey. Get the hell off my phone, too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a bodega, and it is not McDonald's. You ain't got a menu to look at here. You know it's about psychic energy. That's all it's about here. Ain't no guesswork. Can I get a, uh... You can get a foot up your ass, what you can get. Don't call here with this foolishness here. Good evening. It don't really matter what you say. I ain't listening to you in a way. Okay, here's what I found. Here, I'm tagging you. Small two, small YouTuber challenge tag. Small YouTube, small, small tag YouTube, small YouTuber tag. That's it. I am tagging BWT. That's Wes and Darlene. I am tagging Hissing Thoughts. Frida Luna. Hold on oh, a second. That's us. All right, all right. I so what is the tag for? You know, it's like a challenge kind of thing. What do you have to do? You have to answer these questions. Beautiful. So I gotta tag some people. So I'm gonna tag um, Beekazer. I'm gonna tag uh, Joe Caden. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to help you. This is not a bodega. My lord. Good evening. Whew, lord have mercy. Hey Google, how far is it from here to New Zealand? New Zealand is 8,417 miles away as the crow flies. As the crow flies. Well, that's pretty fitting. You'll see why. Or um, you'll see it in about 8,000 miles. I'm not sure if they're going to let me use this box or not, but I put a lot of plastic wrap on everything just in case it falls overboard. So we're going to do a good thing today. I got rid of a lot of clothes. Just stuff that, it's just stuff in my closets. Things change, I change, size changes, everything changes. So we're heading to Goodwill. Right, right in the bed of the truck. So what is this show about? Well, the show and this channel is all about me. I don't do any things like anybody else anywhere, and um, that's exactly the way I want it to be. This is um, just a hobby. It's just something to do, to do something creative and to get outside of myself, but all about myself. I gotta make some errands, run some errands. Kinda of sucks. I scratched my glasses. I gotta go to one of those one hour places, or thereabouts. And I gotta get some dog food too, so there you go. This is my Saturday. So the last stop, I said to pick up a couple more things. So what's in that box? Well, in this post-beam apocalyptic world, you gotta have the stuff that is essential to life. Essential to being me. So everything that I thought was necessary to survive in this struggle of a world, I put in a box. And I'm shipping it off. Mission accomplished. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> is you, anytime you're sending internationally, you gotta send stuff, uh, declaring stuff through uh, United States Customs, right? So on the descriptions, I mean, they're all gifts. All this stuff is gifts. I wrote down descriptions uh, such as 
hashtag try not to pee challenge music, hashtag sexy times shirt. It was just funny to hear the guy in the post office have to read that out to clarify. Yes, I did. So, D-Man, you'll have your stuff in roughly about seven to 12 days, provided it doesn't fall overboard. <laughs> it was just so funny hearing him say that. He goes, uh, hashtag sexy times. I had to explain to him that we're very famous YouTubers and we do a lot of collaborations. He's like, oh, you know, with me, with my 212,000 subscribers and Daryl with his uh, 180,000 subscribers. Welcome to the saddest fucking mall in all of the United States. That ain't even a store, it's just nothing. I mean, literally, this freaking town, I'm in Gastonia, North Carolina, and this is the saddest mall ever. I mean, there's nothing here. I mean, literally nothing here. Except Blends Crafters where I gotta go and get my glasses fixed. There ain't even nothing really even here. Of course, there's the obligatory American Eagle. But that's it, it's just shit from here. You wanna ride on uh, one of those electric uh, animals? Go around a mall? Maybe get your picture taken with the Easter Bunny. I mean, there's literally nobody in this mall. Well, wish I could take steps. Got my glasses. Picked up some jeans. Store is closing, of course. So everything's on clearance, but uh, so, yeah. <laughs> So the whole point of Goodwill Industries is to help teach people how to be in the distribution industry and in retail. And uh, it's for underprivileged people, those that you know either don't have a job or are homeless, and it's all self-contained. Everything that they bring in, they turn around and sell in their retail stores or move around in uh, some of their other locations all over the place. So if you don't have a Goodwill by you, uh, you know, you don't know what you're missing, but I do shop at Goodwill too. Uh, comes in great for things like dog blankets and other things. Sometimes you'll find some really awesome name brand stuff that's basically brand spanking new for the most part. We're gonna come over here and get a little Chucky Chuck wash wash. Which YouTuber do I resemble? None of them. Absolutely none of them. But they're all about community. It's all about community. Every single one of y'all have helped me to do more. And that's what it's all about. It does not suck. So does my channel meet the new monetization standards? Absolutely not. And I'm okay with that. I really am. But does this answer your question at all? And that is all right by me because the reality is you know this is not about money if you're doing this about money then you're in it for the wrong business and let me tell you something else their whole monetization scheme 
is a joke. It really is. There's people out there that have maybe 20 videos that have millions of views, and their videos are not that good. It tells you something about the system. It tells you something is just not right. And that's all I gotta say about that. Demonetized. Susan Wozniki, I'm gonna send one to you. Hi, Joe Joe. I just got done mowing my lawn. But everything you see here on this channel is all about community. It's about originality and it's being about being different. And that's what it all is to me, is embracing your passions and embracing the joys in and around your world that mean something to you. And the whole thing about this to me is the ability to connect up with really awesome people. Not being one of these millions and millions and millions of subscribers. i rather have a small amount of people than, uh, that I can embrace and communicate with than millions of people because I'm doing it for the money. This is not benefiting life. You are not enhancing life in any way, shape, or form by creating a vlog. You're making something in, uh, enjoyable. You're creating something for the memories for you and your family and your friends. But the reality is, is it doesn't have that much of an impact on life. I mean, if you want to do something valuable with your life and you want to really give value to the world in and around you, do it in person and do it for society as a whole. Like me, I try to get people to use less energy every day and I try to do it scientifically and I am the only one that's allowed to handle an over half billion dollar portfolio all at once. That's my job and it makes me feel really good to know that I'm helping people out to save money and to help our environment. That's a huge impact. Do something with your life, do it worthwhile. Um, but as for this, you know, this is just should be your hobby. This should be something that is good for creativity. It's not going to replace the real importance with your life, which is getting out there and doing good for others. So with that being said, I only support small YouTubers. Only support small YouTubers. I don't support those that have maybe like 10 or 20 videos that somehow YouTube has picked up and made into sensations, even though their videos actually suck. I mean, to be honest with you, they're no better than yours or mine. And yet, somehow or another, YouTube and their infinite wisdom pick them up, get, um, advertise them like mad. They now have, with a small amount of videos, thousands of subscribers and millions of views. That is just fucked up. So, to you, YouTube, and to Susan, all I can say is, fuck you, demonetize this. I mean, because that's not, you have failed, you have missed the mark with what YouTube was all about, in my opinion. So what is a small YouTuber? We're all small YouTubers. And those big ones, I don't even waste my time with. I guess your advertising dollar is lost with me now, isn't it? So who, if I could collaborate with any big YouTuber, would I do that? No, I wouldn't do that at all. You know who I'd collaborate with? Or somebody like Martin Scorsese, or somebody like um, Robert De Niro, somebody who can really tell a good story. None of us YouTubers, I don't think, can really tell good stories. Oh, haven't you watched so-and-so? Fuck that. So even if they threw a lot of money at me to go and make more videos, you know what I would do is I would travel to and see every one of my subscribers. That's what I would do. Everyone that I've met through Beam, a uh, handful of other people, you know, uh, since Beam, probably on YouTube or through a connection on somebody, one of our close friends, that's what I would do. I wouldn't ask for much. I don't really want much. I'm one of those types of people that doesn't really want anything. You know, that, that's the thing. If it comes to me, great. And if not, you know, I worked my ass off for everything in my life. So to me, nothing is a gift. Everything has to be worked for. And you know, this thing, YouTube, this isn't my job. You know, when I upload is when I upload. When I have a story, I have a story. I just do it. You know, um, I don't have any set schedule at all. I don't want to just put something out there that's just, oh, I'm watching his videos again. There's absolutely no meaning, no content. I'm following him around, doing this, doing that. 
You know, what did you learn? Nothing. What did you get to see? You got to see my life. I'm a pretty fucking boring person. That's just the way I am, you know? Uh, there's nothing really here that's, you know, hopefully a, of a significant value to me if I did it like every day. I mean, you would see the same boring shit over and over and over and over again. Where's the value in that? There isn't any. What hobbies do I have? You get to see them in all of my YouTubes. I'm all about music. <laughs> I'm all about straight shaving, typical guy stuff, my dogs, my family, mowing the lawn, you know, just having fun in my small little world uh, that means just the world to me. And if you happen to enjoy it, great. And if you don't, fine. I mean, I am not for everybody. You know, I talk funny, uh, I sound weird. I uh, have a really small world, but I'm me. I'm real, and I embrace the imperfections. You know, that's the whole thing about this channel, is I embrace imperfections because we are all imperfect people, and there's too many people out there that beat themselves up for being not perfect, and that is just so weird to me. So where do I want to see my channel in the next year or five years? I don't know. You know, that's not about me. That's about... You know what I find that's creative at that moment if I continue to do this you know that's the whole thing is I have no pressure on creating at all it's fun I love to do it but that's all you know if I find that there's an interesting story I'll paint it with my camera and if there's not great it's just really kind of cool to have a small group of people that we can embrace and love and that's what this is all about to me so I hope to be able to continue that again in this next year's time so we don't lose this connection it's all about the connection it's all about being real it's all about our differences and defying to be and act like somebody else and be like another youtuber just do your own thing and have fun last but not least the ultimate question is does pineapple belong on pizza uh, yeah I'm gonna go with no That's not the how I was raised. Uh, anyways, until the next time, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Uh, D-Man, I hope you get your stuff here pretty soon. I hope it doesn't, you know, fall off the boat or whatnot. And uh, everybody who wants any of the apparel, uh, I now have a uh, store, uh, Selfless or Shameless Plug. Uh, I uh, started my own store on Threadless.com. You can look me up. Uh, it's josephcaton.threadless.com and you can get books, uh, journals, uh, t-shirts, anything about my, uh, my channel for the most part. I might do some collabs uh, with some of the wet shaving community as well um, for some ideas that they've had. You know, I'll put them up on my channel as part of what I do. Uh, but anyways, maybe I'll create one for YouTube Steve. Who knows? Everybody should have a, a YouTube Steve shirt, right? Eh, anyways, if you get one, awesome. I thank you so much for your support. Um, I really don't get much for any of that stuff. I just thought it would be something fun to do. Um, I'm sending one of these in black to uh, D-Man uh, just because it's such a long way. But uh, if you're looking for one and you want a deal, just let me know. Uh, I even have uh, my way of life up uh, on my bed. It's a, a Sherpa blanket because, you know, we get cold. At least Josie the hairless uh, dog. She's a Mexican cholo. It's Quintly. She gets cold. Anyways, I buy things for her. <laughs> we'll see you around.